Greetings, African people. Armina D, this is for you. I received your letter and I decided to answer you today. I needed a couple of days to think about it and I think I'm ready to answer you. Um, you wrote, Dear Miss Wren, I really like watching you and listen to you. You always give us great advice. I'm 18 years old and I met this guy that I really love and I'm thinking that I'm ready to have sex. What do you think? Armin D. At 18 years old, you're very young. And when you say that I love him, I'm not sure what that means. See, for me, a mother loves her child to where she is in pain. Breastfeeding is one of the most painful things. And she will still put her breast in that baby's mouth and allow the child to feed. That's what a mother's love does. She gives birth to one child and it's horrible. Childbirth is not pretty. It's painful. It's ugly. And she gives birth to this child and she swears she'll never have another child. And she has 10 more because of a mother's love. A mother will give her heart to her child. And I'm talking about a typical mother, a typical, wonderful, loving mother will give her heart to her child and succumb just so her child can live. A mother will throw herself in front of a moving truck to save her, her child's life. That is love. Do you see I'm going with this? So at 18 years old, I'm sorry, but you know nothing about love. What, what, what do you mean I love him? You like him. Now, the question is, um, why do you want to have sex with this boy? Because it has nothing to do with love. You see, young people, you are getting um, that natural thing. We are sexual beings. From the baby boy or girl was born, you know, if you touch their, their genitalia, you know, the boy, uh, little penis will get hard. It's not a sexual thing to do that to the boy. The boy um, is sucking his soother and is playing with his penis because it feels pleasurable. The little girl does the same thing. Those things are natural things. They don't need someone else to make that part of your body feel good. So you're thinking because you're having these emotional feelings these feelings of attachment to this boy that means that you're in love but that's not what that means that just means you like him what is it about this young boy that that makes you say you love him would you die for him would you throw yourself in front of a truck and if you say yes to that at 18 that just means that you're suicidal it's not because you're in love it's because something is going on with you and you need uh to learn how to manage those feelings because you're not healthy at 18 years old you shouldn't want to die for anybody so uh when you are equating the way you feel like wanting companionship or acceptance or um friendship from someone you say that's love but it's not love now what i want to tell you that a lot of women don't tell their daughters and unfortunately for me i have to do this on the world wide web um, those urges that you're getting, you're now calling sexual urges, those natural feelings that you have in your body when your egg matures and gets to a certain point where, you know, you're at puberty, uh, that it's a natural thing that comes with that part of that transition in life. The feeling of wanting pleasure. You don't need a boyfriend for that. Why, why, why do you need a boyfriend? A boyfriend doesn't have to do that. You have 10 fingers, explore your own body, find out your erogenous zones and uh, do things to yourself and give yourself pleasure. Satisfy those urges. You don't need a boyfriend to do that because guess what? 
at 18 years old, you don't want someone exploring you, your body that way. It's not good for you. It's not healthy because what happens is this boy is not going to have sex with you because he's in love with you. This boy is going to have sex with you because he wants to release himself. It has nothing to do with sex. He doesn't love you. If you're beautiful and you're sexy, it has nothing to do with the reason why he has sex with you because if he's your boyfriend, he will have sex with someone who he thinks is ugly. It's just a natural thing. It's only because we're human beings and we're socialized uh, not to go out on the road and just be having sex all over the place. I mean, it's happening now because people are not uh, managing and controlling those urges as well as we they used to in the past. But 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 um, it's not really natural for human beings. It, it's natural, but it's not accepted in society for people to just run around and have sex all over the place. If you can control yourself from having sex in public, you can control yourself from having sex in private. And at 18 years old, 20 years old, even older than that, you might not be ready for sex. And if sex is linked to love, then you're in trouble because sex has nothing to do with love. Even if you're 30 years old, you're not just having sex for love because you can be in love with somebody who isn't right for you. You can be in love with somebody because you see, we tend to go with feelings, with what our, our, our feelings are, our heart is saying, or even our mind is saying, and we're not really able to separate the reality from these kinds of physical feelings. I don't know if I'm making myself clear, but at 18 years old, I think you should treat your vagina like you would treat your password on your phone or the your lock or key combination. You don't give just anybody the combination to your cell phone or to your computer or to your locker. Why you want to give somebody your combination to your vagina? It's sacred. Now, if you already did it at 18 years old, there's nothing I can do about that now. I'm not going to condemn you. I'm not going to judge you. But I'm saying if you are still a virgin and you're 18 years old, you don't need to be lying down with nobody right now. Lie down with your 10 fingers. And save yourself for that person who would, you would like to spend the rest of your life with. Now you might want to spend the rest of your life with this guy now. You like him now. But it doesn't mean you're going to like him 10 years from now. He might actually be a wonderful person. But we grow and we change. And the thing we find attractive now is no longer attractive. I remember when I was a teenager, I saw some guy who had pink eye and he was so cute. He had pink eye, conjunctivitis. He was so cute. That's so disgusting. The things I liked and the guys that I found attractive when I was 16 years old are not attracted to me, attractive to me at all. Once you lay down with somebody and give them your body, you can't take it off. You can't change it. It, it, it becomes a part of your spirit. You have to move on. It is sacred. I can't say it enough. Young girl. Love yourself, literally. There's nothing wrong with that. And the more time you spend loving yourself, the more you'll be able to have amazing sex when you're older because you'll understand your body. So as for those adult women who run around and say, oh, this guy is no good in bed. No, if you had spent time and explore your own body and understood yourself and valued yourself, and spent many years pampering and powdering and, well, don't powder it. It's dangerous. But if you had spent all this time loving on yourself. <coughs> excuse me. You wouldn't spend so much time waiting for someone else to love you. Love yourself, young girl. Wait. And if you are already involved in sex put a brakes on it for those of you who are already involved in this that's the problem with our young people now we don't value ourselves enough ourself when we were young we didn't put more value on ourselves, and we gave ourselves to individual who didn't know how to love us because we didn't know how to love ourselves. Be blessed, everybody. Think on these things.